Hi everyone, welcome back to AK Flutter. In today's tutorial, explore how to integrate web views into your Flutter applications. Before we dive into the coding part, let's quickly understand what a web view is and why it's important in Flutter development. A web view is a widget that allows you to display web content within your Flutter application. It's useful for scenarios like embedding web pages, displaying HTML content, or integrating web-based features into your app. Basic knowledge of Flutter and Dart programming is recommended for following along with this tutorial. First step. Go to browser and search for pub.dev. Click on the first result. Now search for WebView Flutter package. You will find all the links in the description. Click on this. You can add the package manually or via command. Open pubspec.yaml file and add the WebView Flutter dependency. Then run the Flutter pub git command to install the dependencies. Now ensure that you set the correct min SDK version in your Android slash app slash build.gradle file if it was previously lower than 19. Now go back to the browser to see what's new scrolling down here we see many things we can use. For example JavaScript mode determines the JavaScript execution mode in the web view. The WebView class has been deprecated, and its functionality has been split into WebView Controller and WebView Widget. We'll need to use these new components to achieve WebView functionality in our Flutter app. Second step. Go to VS Code and create a simple interface that contains only a button that does nothing currently. Go and create WebView.Dart. Here, we've created a stateful widget named WebView. Import material.dart. Delete the container and replace it with safe area. We begin by creating a WebView controller instance, which is responsible for controlling the WebView widget within our app. We notice that the WebView Flutter package has been called. Next, we use the set JavaScript mode method to configure the JavaScript mode of the WebView. Setting the JavaScript mode to JavaScript mode dot disable. Let's start with the first image you set the JavaScript mode to disable, meaning JavaScript execution within the WebView is turned off. Moving on to the second image this time, however, we set the JavaScript mode to unrestricted, meaning JavaScript execution within the WebView is allowed without any limitations. Now go back to versus code. After configuring the JavaScript mode, we use the load request method to load a web page into the web view. Here URL parameter is required. URL.parse the method is used to parse the URL string and create a URI object. We're loading the URL youtube.com into the web view. Make sure to use either HTTP or HTTPS in the URL provided to the load request method to ensure proper loading of web content. Go back to VS Code and copy the name of class. Now go to main.dart and scroll down when on press. We use the push method of the navigator class to push a new route onto the navigation stack. In this case, we're navigating to a screen containing a WebView widget using the WebView. Add const here. I forgot something important. Let's go to webview.dart. Replacing the container with a WebView widget, we will see that the controller is required and we have already created it.
Now run the app. I meant to do this to resolve this error, replace disable with unrestricted. We've disabled JavaScript execution within the web view and loaded a web page from the specified URL. We see that the YouTube page has been loaded successfully. To see if it works well, let's search my YouTube channel. It works great but the channel only has 100 subscribers. I hope you found this explanation helpful, and subscribe to my channel for more Flutter tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.